Hey everybody, I'm here today to share a project with y'all that I created for Discount Paper Crafts over on Etsy. It's Kathy's store and she is a doll, y'all. Um, everybody that has shopped with her since I've sent them in that direction just raves about how amazing she is and how great her customer service is. And I'm telling you, you will not find cheaper prices than what Kathy has. Like, it's impossible. Um, but anyway, I know I brag on her a lot, but I just really believe in this woman and her store and she's incredible. So, um, But I use the Fairy Bell paper in the 12 by 12 which you can get at Kathy store and all of the Prima flowers I used are from her store with the exception of this one and then like the Prima um, wooden buttons and stuff I got there as well but it is a hinged two six by six canvases hinged together um, I'll give you an overview really quickly you can see I just took two of them and hinged them together to make like a shadow box and I got this idea from Mama Tiffy here on YouTube she had done a larger scale one of these for Shirley Do's um, last year I think around Christmas time or something and she turned in hers into like a suitcase it was awesome um, so I've been wanting to try it for the longest time so I finally did on a smaller scale um, but I did mask all the way around the um, hopefully you can see how shimmery it is it's really pretty y'all um, I masked it with one of my tattered angels and I think scintillating silver or it could have been um, spun sugar by tattered angels I'm not sure but I masked it I added this lace all the way around the um, top canvas you can see the hinge there and then over here you can see the handle that I used to to kind of open and close it um, and I just put gesso in it to kind of soften it up this will be listed on my Etsy store in case I forget to mention that y'all put a link down below if anybody's interested um, I added a lot of texture and it's essentially this is a shadow box and I know it's so hard to get these to show up on camera let me move my lighting and see if I can show y'all in there Hopefully you can see the cameo lady in the back. Maybe the um, pictures will do better justice, but it is a shadow box. And if you don't want the cameo and you'd rather have pictures in there, it's completely fine. You can do that as well. Um, I added the fairy bell paper to the outside here and I distressed up all the edges really well. Um, I did some brick masking with some texture paste and blue paint. You can see that all the way around and down there as well. I lined the inside of this canvas with this sheet of fairy bell paper and then from the outside I cut an X into the canvas and all the way through the paper and then I peeled back the paper, rolled it back um, to create this really dimensional like ripped out effect. Hopefully you guys can tell what I'm talking about. You know, you, everybody does this so just did that and I added tons and tons of layers. I also used some Webster's Pages paper in here. I picked some sheets that meshed well with the um, fairy bell paper and I used those as well. I really wanted to use this little peacock so I've had that in there but you can see tons and tons of layers of paper ripped out going all the way around it. Um, this is a little chandelier from some Webster's Pages paper and then this one has like a little poem over here so I put that one there. I fussy cut this butterfly from the fairy bell paper and put her there. Um, this is a little Prima wooden button you can get at Kathy's store. A Prima Lady Godiva flower. Um, over here I put a Tim Holtz key and it says dreams on it and I just whitewashed it to kind of tone it down and make it look more shabby. I tied a seam binding bow behind it in a blue color, really pretty blue color and I put that right there. And then this is one of the Pearl BB flowers, I think from the Almanac collection. I um, got this at Kathy's store as well. And I have little, this flower right here I'd had in my stash for a while. It's my favorite Prima flower ever to date. It's just beautiful. It's the Prima necklace actually. And um, you know the necklace part is these beads. So I just kind of cut these down to size to just have them dangling from the flower. And then I used some of the little dangles throughout the um, canvas but I really really like this flower it's all made of lace and it's just gorgeous and it's got feathers coming out as well here and up there so I'll put that over here I have some pieces of crochet trim coming out along the side just to add lots of texture and give it a more shabby look I have some little um, sprays coming out this is a prima flower I got from Kathy's store as well and it's like a burlap um, cottony type material really pretty it's got a little button in the center of it. This is some netting. You'll see this pink and black netting coming all the way around the um, canvas. And then this is a Prima Coventry leaf that I got from Kathy's store as well. And it's a velvet. Hopefully that will show up on camera. But it's really pretty. 
Um, this is a little crystal flower that I got from Michaels. It's one of those sprays. I just cut the flower out and added it right there. And then this is the I Am Roses, of course. Um, I fussy cut this chandelier from the Fairy Bell paper. Really intricate. That took me a while, but it's so worth it. I love it. Um, I wrapped one of the little pearl strands around it from the flower over there. Up here, I have a little bow with some crocheted thread coming out from the Prima button here. One of the little star buttons. I got that at Kathy's store as well. Another one of those crystal flowers from the Michael Spray up here at the top. This is an I Am Roses flower that I used my Black Orchid Silver Color Shot. And it's super glimmery. I mean, it just looks like ice. It's so pretty. I love it. Some more of that netting coming out in the pink and the black. Another little Lady Godiva flower over here. And then I fussy cut the little fairy princess out from the paper line. And I have her coming out the edge of the um, canvas. So I have her over there. Really pretty. I love her. And you can see just the little pearl strands um, hanging down from the flower. So that is the front of it. And like I said, you can completely see through. And then I'm going to open it up for y'all. Okay, y'all, here's the inside of the canvas. So it just opens up really easy like that. And you can see the hinge back there. Um, I did a lot of fussy cutting in here. I lined the whole edges of them with paper and I did it um, pretty seamlessly. I tried to anyway. So I cut it to fit. You can see the masking up there as well. Um, but yeah, there's the cameo lady that you can barely see from the front, but she's in there. Um, this cameo is from EnchantedScrapbooking.com. She makes custom mini album kits, and this is from her cameo mini album, and I just used it for the shadow box. But I came across this technique before where you paint the cameo lady, and then um, I use one of my masks, and I think it makes it look makes her look like a skeleton, kind of like that's her eyeball and her mouth, and these swirls are her hair. So that's what I was going for with her. Um, and I popped her up really high. The background is some Webster's Pages paper. Another little Lady Godiva flower in her hair. She's really dimensional in there. I did a lot of ripping of the paper as well and put, put it all in here. Um, the Fairy Bell paper and then a little bit of um, Webster's Pages. I fussy cut this little butterfly right here from the paper as well. And then this whole piece right here is fussy cut from the Webster's Pages paper pretty detailed. I really like how that came out um, with the feathers and the peacock and stuff. So I put that there. This little piece is fussy cut from the fairy bell paper. It's a little bird on a branch. I put this applique here going all the way down the side and then I put this little piece that I fussy cut from the paper collection as well. But yeah because she is so popped up if someone wanted to add their pictures in there it would go in there really well and still be really dimensional. So if you wanted to use it for like a photo album instead of you know, just art-wise, just sitting on your shelf, you know, that's also a possibility. Okay, so then this side I lined with the paper as well. I fussy cut this bird cage from the paper collection and popped it up over here on the side. This is a daisy from I Am Roses. I couldn't use any really big flowers in here because it would be, it wouldn't close um, right. I added a little pearl to it. These pearl sprays. Kathy has lots of bling in her store, you guys. And then this is a little, um, chandelier I fussy cut from vellum. It's one of the Webster's Pages vellum sheets. I just have it hanging down there. I put some more fussy cutting over here that I fussy cut from Webster's Pages paper over there. And then there's a little um, airplane which I think is so super cute and I just added it on there with them. Um, I think I used a, yep, a bingo piece from Tim Holtz to adhere it upright. And you can see all the paper there ripped through. Um, some of it wasn't double-sided, some of the Webster's pages, so I had to add more in there just to cover it all up and make it look really clean. So I'll put that in there, and that is the inside of it, y'all. And I really hope y'all like this. Check out Kathy's store. I'll put the link down below. She has the best prices, period. I'm not just being biased. She really does, and she's just amazing. So I hope you guys like my canvas, and thank you, Tiffany, for the inspiration. It was so much fun to create. Um, I really like how it came out super shabby. I don't think I use like any black on here that much, so I was pretty proud of myself. But anyway, thanks for watching y'all, and I hope you like it. And if you're interested, I'll put the link to my Etsy down below. So thanks for watching y'all. Bye.